All right, guys. It's the Winter Weasel back here this evening. Here we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee this afternoon. And as you can see, what is behind me says the Foothill RV Park Campground. Guys, this is where we're staying at this time. No, we do not own an RV. This is not a campground that has tent sites. They do not have, they just have RV sites. They have cabins and camp cabins. The style cabins that we are actually renting for our stay here this time is a one bedroom with a full bath little cabin. It's really nice. They have four of those cabins, guys, here on the campground property here at the Foothill RV Park Campground. Uh, guys, they also have camping cabins. They have three other cabin sets that have two queen beds and a full bath and a kitchenette. The one that we have, like I said, has a queen bed and a full bath and a kitchenette. There's four of them. I think there's about six or eight of the camp cabins. I'm not 100% positive on that. They also have some A-frame cabins, guys. It is over side down the street here from the office area that goes up the same road that Hideaway Campground is. Uh, guys, I'm gonna take you up and show you the cabin. We got a little bit of a walk back up the hill because it's kind of up on the hillside behind the office. Foothills, RV park, and cabins. This, like I said, is the office area. Uh, the only thing they do provide is RV sites and cabins. They do not have tent sites, guys. I will show you. It is actually at the far end of Pigeon Forge, uh, right off of the spur right here, guys. You will take light 10 down here beside the pancake cabin go up in behind it to access them if you're coming up the Pigeon Forge Parkway headed toward Gatlinburg or you can go to the first crossover up the spur and come back toward Pigeon Forge like as you would be heading from the Gatlinburg side and it will be your first turn off on the right. Guys we have a beautiful sunset this evening. The sky is beautiful. Alright guys let's walk up back up the hill to the cabin really nice little cabin we just arrived here this evening uh, I've never stayed here before uh, this was a little thing this is actually the one and weasel wife's 36th birthday weekend uh, we've done checked out the cabin when we come in it's really really cute uh, she really likes it like I said, if you do stay in one of the cabins, you can use the bathhouse. I'll show you it and their pool. Uh, you can see these cabins up on the hillside right here. That is the one bedroom full bath cabins. There is four of them. You got a 1A, a 2A. A 3A and a 4A. We are in the 4A. Um, down here underneath us are the two queen bed full bath cabins. There's three of them. Uh, 7A, 6A, and 5A on those. So what we are going to do instead of going up the road so we don't get run over, we will use the stairway. I did not notice this when I came down to show you all the office area to start out with. So we will go back up the stairs. So guys, let's go up and we will show you the cabin, let you see it, and then I'll show you where the bathhouse area is. So it is really nice. They also have guest laundry as well. They have a ton of RV sites here, guys. 
I'm sorry if I'm shaking. I just had to climb that hill. And I'm a little out of breath. Uh, guys, back here toward the back is the bathhouse and the pool area. Uh, men's and women's. I will run you back here real fast and show you that. Uh, you can hear the cicadas. I wonder why his wife is not going to be happy about that. I'll show you the pool and the bathhouse area and the guest laundry. Right back here is one of the camp cabins behind it. Right there. There's two of them there. There's some more buck up on the hill behind. But we have the pool area. It is open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Here it is heated from what I've gathered from online. So pretty nice little pool area. So, all right, let's go over. They do have an emergency phone here at the pool area if you have an emergency for 911, if you do not have a cell phone. So that is handy. So I'm gonna take you and show you the bathhouse area. They do have a bathhouse, as I said. You have the women's on one side, the men's on the other. And you do have guest laundry. I'll show you that, and then we'll go over to the cabin. You have the guest laundry, as you can see. Uh, the washers are $2, the dryers are $2. So, um, I'm going to see you real quick if there's anybody in the bathhouse. Hang okay, on. guys, you do have bathhouse. Uh, you have three showers, two regular, and one handicap. And you do also have uh, three toilets, a handicap accessible, two regulars, uh, one urinal, and also three sinks. So guys, that is a bathhouse here at Foothills. So let's head back around to the cabin. I did not want to bother nobody. Like I said, they got a lot of RV sites here. Really nice. Oh, guys, I will uh, tell you one thing. If you stay here, uh, they do have quiet time from like I think 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, I don't think they fully, as long as you're not just making an absolute ruckus, they're not going to say a whole lot. Um, if you have family that want to come and visit you while you're staying here, and they're not staying here, or you have friends or anything like that, they do have to check in at the office. They have to have a pass. Uh, guys, it's not a big deal, but that's just so they can park, say, here at the cabin with you or leave their vehicle here and ride with you or whichever so that you don't, they don't have their vehicle towed. As you can see, we are in 4A. There's four of these cabins, as I said. I showed you from the bottom. Um, bring you around here and we'll come up on the steps for the little porch area. Uh, you have your front porch here. As I said, really cute. Got rockers and such. Really, really nice little cabin, guys. I absolutely love this. And from your porch, you can look back down toward coming off the spur onto the parkway. And there is another campground here too as well. Down below us, different uh, campground, RV park. So guys, let's go in here and check out this little cabin. All right guys, we're gonna go into the little cabin here at Foothills that we're staying this weekend. Guys, it's absolutely gorgeous in here. Like I said, you come in, you got the bathroom straight ahead, you got your kitchenette to the left. Really nice refrigerator and table and such. Uh, you got a little closet area over here beside of it. Uh, like I said, it is full bath. It is full tub, shower unit, commode, sink, and everything. As you can see, really nice, really clean. Very clean, actually, guys. 
uh, ceilings are very high it's really nice ceilings for the cabin uh, just really cute guys uh, like I said it does have the one bed it is a queen it looks more like uh, bigger than a queen I don't know it looks pretty big for a queen but plenty of room uh, have a couch I don't know if this couch actually turns into a bed or not um, yes it does uh, the couch is a full bed to pull out so that's really nice to have really cute lamp the bar lamp got a fish in its mouth we got a ceiling fan uh, really cute area guys it's got the air conditioning heat unit here and the TV a little mirror in front of the bed a little dresser so guys this is foothill RV park and cabins here in Pigeon Forge, right as you're getting on the spur, heading toward Gatlinburg. Like I said, you can access it at light 10 if you're coming up Pigeon Forge, or when you're coming off the spur, coming from Gatlinburg, you can access it to the right just before you cross the bridge. So, all right, guys, we will get back with you to the end of the stay and tell you how it is. All right, guys. This will conclude our stay here at Foothills RV and Cabin Resort. Um, right here off the parkway, the spur here at the end of Pigeon Forge. Honey, what do you think? I really liked it. The location's really convenient and the cabins are really cute and comfy. And it's quiet. Surprisingly, inside it's really, really quiet. You don't hear the traffic off the spur or anything. Mm -mm. So guys, Definitely check them out here at Foothill RV and Cabin. Uh, guys, price-wise, I'm going to tell you right now, we done this little cabin right here with a one queen bed, with a full bath, kitchenette, uh, with couch and such inside for five nights. Is that how long we did? Yes. Five nights for 400 bucks. They're $95 a night, peak season. Guys, well, well worth it. You've really got good deal. for two people and one kid, maybe two kids, there's enough room, even in this cabin right here, for a good stay. And the price wise is perfect. Plenty of room. You do that, you're, you're able to use the bathhouse. So if one of you is cool, getting ready. Laundry services. Uh, yeah, they got free laundry service up here. Well, not free. I think it was two dollars for what I said for the washer, two dollars for the dryer. Pardon me for that, uh, guys. I highly recommend it. I would rather stay here as the hotels. Uh, you got a little bit more privacy, a little bit more peace. You know, it's peaceful. Well, everybody's inside by nine o'clock. Yeah, pretty so much. Really I mean, quiet. you got a few that's still sitting out at their campers and stuff, their RVs but they're really quite peaceful enjoying the night air and stuff. There's no partying going on in this no, area. No, 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 no. They will not allow that. <laughs> that does not happen, so it's very, very peaceful. I highly recommend it. Definitely check them out. Now, like I said, there's only four cabins here that's one bed, full bath. There's three cabins below these up here on the hill that are two bed with full bath. So guys, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so so far. Ring the notification bell to keep them notifications rolling for new videos coming out. If you're new here, we do upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. They go live every week. Three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week. And as I keep saying, we'll keep shooting them. Y'all keep watching them. Wonder Weasel signing off from Foothill RV and Cabin Park here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee.